Alhamdulillah, salat salam on Rasulullah. So Ibn Abbas, great companion of the Prophet sallallahu he's also his young cousin. The Prophet sallallahu passes away and Ibn Abbas is a young man, um, very young. You're talking about teenager, maybe even preteen. When the Prophet sallallahu passes away, Ibn Abbas had learned what he could from the Prophet sallallahu at that time. And then Ibn Abbas continues on his journey of knowledge. The Prophet had prayed for him to be granted the understanding of the religion and to learn the interpretation of the Quran. Ibn Abbas continues to study and to learn and he would you know, famously stand outside the houses of the companions waiting for them to naturally come out of their houses on an errand or for a prayer. Those who were more senior than him, the elders of the companions. And he would just wait for them to come out so that he can ask them about a hadith or a, an incident in the life of the Prophet Wasallam or the interpretation of a verse of the Quran. And they would come out and find this, this young man waiting for them and they would say, you know, and he's being beaten by the Meccan son or the Medini son. And, you know, he's, he's, he's sitting there covering himself maybe up from the dust. And they would say to him, Oh, Ibn Abbas, oh, cousin of the Prophet Wasallam, why don't you just knock why didn't you just let us know that you're waiting for us but that was the reverence that he had for knowledge and the people and the and the manners that he had with uh, the people who had knowledge now ibn abbas had a friend and his friend wasn't as impressed with what ibn abbas was spending his time doing and he would say to him like ibn abbas you think anybody cares about your knowledge do you think that anybody cares about what you know the city has abu Bakr and the city has umar and uthman and ali and it has all of these great companions who are filled with knowledge, who are more senior than you, who have spent more time with the Prophet ﷺ than you did. And Ibn Abbas didn't let his friend negatively affect his goals. You know, you have a, a, a friend, who, uh, I like to call an electron. They're just, they're just always negative. Ibn Abbas did not let him affect him. He says, فَتَرَكْتُ I left him alone. I stayed away from him. I didn't include him in my planning and in my journey and all of these things. I focused on my own goals and Ibn Abbas continued until Ibn Abbas was ready to inherit a ummah after Abu Bakr and Umar and Uthman and Ali all passed away. Who is the ummah going to look to? They all looked towards the young Sahaba and they found the young Sahaba who had been preparing themselves, the Ibn Abbas's and the Ibn Umar's and the Aisha's radiallahu anha. They were all ready to take on the the challenge of leading the ummah and teaching the ummah the ways of the Prophet ﷺ. So definitely a power move is to focus on what benefits you and to stay away from those who would cancel out your dreams.